It can designate targets out to 400 meters to engage with a night vision device. The M68 is a reflexive through sight optic mounted on top of the weapon. This optic augments the weapon's natural sights with the use of a visible red dot as a reference for the shooter during emergency situations. The intensity of the red dot may be adjusted for any type of environmental illumination, even making it so dim that it can only be seen through night vision devices. As you can see, each rifleman is also equipped with a medical aid bag, an M18 Claymore anti-personnel mine of an M136 AT4 anti-armor weapon. The medical aid bag contains the basic equipment for a first responder. Every soldier has received basic first aid training and is able to render such aid for injuries found on the battlefield. The M18 Claymore anti-personnel mine is packed with one and a half pounds of C4 explosive material. When detonated, it projects over 700 steel balls towards its target. The M136 AT4 is a shoulder-fired 84 millimeter anti-armor weapon in an expendable fiberglass tube. The AT4 can penetrate up to 14 inches of armor. Additional equipment used by the squad may include AM PVS-14 night vision device, body armor, and load-bearing equipment. The AM PVS-14 is a monocular night vision goggle used for short range or close-in viewing during hours of limited visibility. The individual body armor, or IBA, is the base piece of equipment that all worn equipment will fit around. The armor consists of soft mesh Kevlar and hard ceramic plates capable of defeating a sniper's bullet. There are additional shoulder, neck, groin, and side armor pieces that can be outfitted to attach to the IBA. The load carrying equipment supports the basic load for the soldier. A typical kit consists of seven magazines holding 210 total rounds, two fragmentary grenades, a personal first aid kit, and no less than two quarts of water. It is not uncommon for this kit to weigh 30 pounds or more. Ladies and gentlemen, please give these soldiers a round of applause. Soldiers awake and ends long after they have put their soldiers to rest. 